Hi, welcome to Inductive Auto Works. Today we're taking a look at our 2005 Mazda RX-8 full electric conversion. Stick around, check it out. The story of this car really begins with the design philosophy and what we set out to build. And really that's pretty simple. We wanted to keep the part to this car that Mazda did really well. That being a lightweight, well-balanced, really well handling car. What we didn't want to do is add a ton of weight and an enormous amount of power and make this car into something it's not. Because of that, the ride we chose, the motor we chose, the battery pack we chose, and the layout we chose. This car overall is 500 pounds lighter than the factory car and still maintains the perfect 50-50 front to rear weight balance. We also wanted to make sure that this car stayed usable. And that's why you'll see a nearly untouched interior. Back seat is full, completely there, ready for your two very small children or dogs. Same with the trunk. Still the meager amount of space as it came factory with from Mazda. You'll see no giant battery packs inside this car, inside the trunk, or anywhere else that takes away from the usability of the platform. And that was very important to us when it, with this build. Up front here is our main battery pack. 18 kilowatt hours gives this car an approximate range of around 60 miles. This was not a long range traveler and not something that was designed to do road trips. It's a simple around town or short daily commute car that will fill the need of most people. You can see the battery box here up front. Right in front of that is the DC to DC converter. Dix Tesla places your standard alternator and provides power to the onboard 12 volt battery which powers the auxiliary systems like your wipers and interior dash cluster. Inside the car, you'll see virtually nothing has changed. The only major difference here is the shifter. On this build, we went with a rotary knob for simplicity, but wanted to make it blend as seamlessly as possible into the interior. You'll see later when we go for a test drive that all the gauges work properly. There's no auxiliary gauges, nothing else mounted to the dash. The EV system is e integrated seamlessly into the factory gauges. The trunk, basically the same. You still have your full amount of cargo space usable from the factory. Here we are underneath the car where we can see the electric motor and the custom subframe that we built for this build. For this build, we chose the EM61 out of a 2012 Nissan LEAF. We like this motor because it's nice compact size as well as the built-in gearbox gives us the perfect ratio to run axle shaft directly out to the rear wheels and eliminate necessary moving parts. The nice thing about this gearbox and most EVs in general is that there's very few moving parts. Inside this gearbox, is a set of gears and a differential that really limits the moving parts in this entire car to about 12. You can see here the custom axle shafts that we had made to take the power from the Nissan uh, gearbox out to the Mazda hubs. Behind that is our Nissan Leaf inverter that we use straight out of the Nissan Leaf. Right now this setup puts out about 200 foot-pounds of torque, but in the future we'll upgrade this inverter with a custom board and custom software to push that up to about 300. That's about double the torque of the factory rotary engine from this car. And coupled with the fact that we reduced the weight and kept the 50-50 weight balance, means this car will be faster and just as fun to drive. This over here is our HV breakout, which sends the HV power to the rest of the accessories in the car. Our cooling lines here run front to back, and those are HV wires that bring the power from the battery back to the motor. Up in the front of the car is our battery box. The battery box you can see is mounted to the this, this stock subframe, completely unmodified on the front. We even use the factory engine mount holes. This here is the water pump that keeps the coolant circulating, keeps everything cool in the back, including the charger, the inverter, and the motor.